Hello, everyone, and welcome to Metro Awakening VR. Just a little bit about me. I am Beyond Zen. I'm relatively new at VR. Never played Metro of anything. Evidently, it's a series or something. It's a series of games. Oh, already the music is awesome. Contains depiction of spiders. Uh, okay, well, then we'll have to be disturbed, then, it sounds like. Oh, oh, nice splash screen in collaboration with Deep Silver. First time hearing of that studio. Based on the internationally best-selling novel Metro 2033, Metro Awakening VR. Oh, whoa, okay, here we go. Now we got some 3D-ness. Oh man, this, dude, this looks like Half-Life Alex in a way. Dude, I love the music already. That's very nice. As a guitarist, I really appreciate these tones I'm hearing. <gasps> Oh gosh, what? Oh, okay. They're making this like real world stuff then. Moscow 2018. They're using real places so far. It's been five years since nuclear war devastated Russia's capital. A few thousand people found refuge in the world's largest atomic bomb shelter, the Moscow Metro System. Interesting. Okay, I'm already intrigued. Down in the tunnels, away from the deadly radiation of, on the surface, a new makeshift civilization has been built upon the ashes of the former, a society of infighting factions and a constant battle against praying mutants and famine. For those who remain, there is no room for hopes or dreams. Oh, already very compelling. Dude, the music. What's happening? This is black. Oh, here we go. Hey, look, yes, a guitar! Yes, I'm on my way. Turn by flicking the highlighted stick left or right. Okay, it's one of those things. You blink, walk by moving. Okay, that's nice. Oh, oh, nice. Look at, oh, look at the clock. That's neat. Oops, what did I just grab? Does this have less comfort where I don't have to snap like that? I don't want to do that necessarily. Rotation, here it is. Yeah, there we go. That feels like Half-Life Alex right there. That is cool. Look at the heating elements. Oh, and you can turn it off and turn it back on. Oh, that's so cool. Wonder how much of this you can pick up. What's in here? Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Supplies. Okay. Oh, nice. I don't want to just use stuff without knowing what it's for, though. So I'm going to not do that. The report. This is probably... Can I... Am I putting this in my backpack or... Nope. There's somebody's mm -hmm. picture. Is this supposed to be me and somebody I care about? I'm sure this is a molecule that I'm supposed to know, but science class, too long ago. I played around with the graphic settings a little bit, and I wish I could push it a little further, but I don't know if it's the Quest 2 being buggy or what it is, but I still get a little bit of frame drops here and there. But I guess we'll just look forward to the Quest 3 when the clarity is better anyway. It actually still looks very good for the settings that I've got. It's just funny because you're having a slightly more clearer experience than I am. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's what I have to work with. Does that turn off? It does not turn off. It's funny that after playing Red Matter, I've ended up on the subject of Russia again. <laughs> hey, look, there's a little medical pack thing. I can open that. Oh, what's inside? There's some bottles. I like how you have... Oh, look, listen. Oh, no, it doesn't do like Alex does. Ouch. You can't hear anything. But it looks really cool. Whatever kind of medicine this is, this will save your life, you know. Put that there for later. <laughs> what's that? Oh. Am I supposed to know what this is? It doesn't open. I like that you don't have to reach really, really far away, but you just kind of can gravity glove. Literally, gravity glove anything. That's so cool. Oh, also, is that watch real time? I've been standing here for a bit, haven't I? Oh, gosh, a piano. Hey, look, I just like in Half-Life Alex. Of course, we haven't played the guitar yet. I wonder how, how much can we play the... Yeah! I can hear you in there. Uh, how, uh, I don't want to play chess. Stop! I got to get away from the chessboard. He thinks I'm playing... That's dude. <laughs> he's actually he's actually forming a chord. <laughs> you see, I'm like having to do this right here to get it in the right orientation. There it is. Is that that's the only chords we're gonna play? Is that all we're gonna do? Well, I'm gonna just put this right here before that dude gets annoyed at me too badly. Oh, sorry. I wonder what this is though. Whoa. Is this uh, gonna be a creature we're gonna face or something? I think I saw one of these in the screenshot actually on Steam. 
cool. All right, well, let's see. Now let's check out the piano thing. Oh, okay, so this piano doesn't look as good as Alex's, but, uh, you know, it's a, it, it still sounds very impressive, though. That's nice. Listen to it. It's got more of a mono sound to it, though. It doesn't have that stereo sound super wide, you know, kind of like Alex did, but... Well, that's weird. I hear it in my left ear, though. Was the, is the is this one? Okay, now that's really weird. They flipped it. That's from from the perspective of the audience, not the player. That's weird. How many people noticed that? So I guess it is stereo. It's just not the right stereo image. That kind of bothers me as a amateur musician and mixer. Ooh, can you burn yourself? Nope. Just like in Alex, I'm like I try to stick my hand, my fingers in fans. Try to stick my uh, my fingers in flames. Now in Metro, that's what we do. <laughs> Snuff it out though. Oh. It does, it cannot be snuffed. Our light cannot be extinguished. Oh, can you break things? Oh, you can! Ho oh, ho! Oh man, all oh, sweet. Oh, how much can I break in here then? I'm curious. Well, this is another one just like it, so probably much. That's some really good sound design. How does the sound design in this is? Sounds pretty realistic, I guess. Yeah, that actually does. What about this? Uh, this is probably important, but Okay, they don't let you break it. Your uh, faucet's dripping, yo. You uh, can't fix this. Okay, well, there's not really a whole lot that you can do in this place here, so I think I should just go ahead and exit. It's very dark in here. Okay, let's proceed then. Grab. Yeah, that's cool. I got it. Come, sir, oh, hey. Is waiting for us. Oh, nice. Seriously, sir, dog, who sleeps during the day? And yes, I know, there is no difference between day and night down here. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, because we're, we're in a subway. Yeah. But I can just leave this place. Listen. And we the ambience. And Good day. Whoa. Man, they really make you feel like you're here. Hey, hey, great, pl great plan. Nice. Oh, dude, hey, sir. Oh, man, he's actually really, oh, man, if it wasn't for the frame stutters here, oh, this would be so amazing. Okay, yo, dude, this is this is Half-Life Alex vibes, man. I wonder if we're gonna get a gun like that. Okay, what now, sir? You what are we doing? You already heard the rumors, but there was a mutant attack on one of our guard posts. We are preparing a team to take them down. Nice. So everyone's a bit tense, as you might imagine. Is this where we're staying? I actually kind of want to take a seat. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, I'll, I'll take a seat with you. Here we are. How about that? Oh. What oh, the? Oops. Whoopsie. Oh, oh no, now I'm too tall. <laughs> I will. Thank you. If that happens, you got to hit start and go into well, your... Guys, <laughs> let's ah! have a drink. Now I'm too small. <laughs> to living, to life, to life. Kombucha. Ah, great <laughs> To yourself too there we much. go. Always sitting with your books, even talking you into getting a drink is tough. Lighten up a bit, man. Yeah, or you'll just end up all alone. I appreciate the advice. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what they're talking about, so I'm just gonna look around. Okay. Can I get out of here or am I stuck? Oh, that's supposed to happen. I guess I'm getting on this. Let's see. Mount the gun, pressing and holding the highlighted buttons. Oh, nice. Okay, oh yeah, get the ball out of your hand and just... Oh, oh gosh. Hey, is he a good guy? Oh, he's a good guy, he's fine. We're getting the mutants, I guess these are. Nice, I love the haptic feedback in my controllers. Let's get them. Oh, I guess I should be looking down the sights. Nice! Oh my gosh, they're getting close! Man, there's a lot of them! Ah! Oh my gosh, they're getting close to me! No! It's getting scary now! Is that it? That's it. Nice. Hi, dick guy. We did it, guys. Uh oh. Oh no, they're killing them! 
children. Out through the side passages. But they can't hold the south entrance. We've got to do something! Sirdar, Kuznich, follow Sergei. Make your way to the south entrance. Use I'm gonna have to turn on subtitles. I have no idea what they're saying. I can't understand them. Their accent is so thick. An explosive to blow it up. Okay. I guess I'm going this way. I don't know. And how do I run? I may not be able to run. I hope I'm going the right way. It is so dark in here. Oh gosh, oh crap, whoa! I don't have a gun though! What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm following him. Okay, he's got the gun, he's gonna keep us safe. Dash for a short amount by tapping. Oh, okay. Okay, nice, okay, that's much better, awesome. Okay, I, I figured it would tell me eventually. A short amount of time, I have to wait. Oh gosh, oh no, people, they're dead. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go. Grab the explosive. Okay, got it. So that's what that was in my room. It was an explosive, but it was it was blowing up already. Oh crap. What do we do? I'm just gonna let him do his thing. And I'm going to assume, whoops, hold on, my boundary. I'm about to hit a wall or something. Kill him! Hey, I need a gun too. I need a gun too, please. This is... This explosive looks like it's a, it's a trip mine or something. Like, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to throw this very effectively. However... Oh, I see what it's for. We're going to blow this up. Place the explosive. Yes. Okay. That's what it is. I placed it. Oh, it's about to blow up. Get out of the way. Oh! Whoa! Okay, that was, that was supposed to happen. Oh, oh, he's dragging me. Oh gosh, my health. Go, oh, he's telling me to go. Okay, I'm going. I'm trying, oh crap. I'm almost dead, man. Oh gosh. Man, it's so dark. Oh gosh, wait, I heard it. I heard a monster. I can't even run though because I'm so hurt. I don't know where I'm going. I can't see anything. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Ten years later. Do we rely on our eyes too much? Are we too convinced that the things we can see are real and those we can't see are not? What's true darkness? And what's true blindness? Open your eyes and you shall see. Whoa. Oh gosh. Oh, what in the world? Oh, you shall know it. Sometimes one must get into an utter darkness in order to begin to see. Well, this is disturbing. We avoid the darkness because it hides things that may be too horrible for us even to imagine. What is happening? It's the unspeakable that scares us. The unspeakable that the darkness holds within. It's the acid that corrodes the limits of the world. We think we know. What is that? It's immersed in the dark. You can't avoid it any longer. You can only embrace it. Oh gosh, whoa. <gasps> that was me! I was wondering if that was me! Oh gosh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't have hands yet! What am I supposed to do? What just happened? What in the world, oh, y'all? I'm sorry, did you say something? Uh, yeah, I said what happened. Are you okay? No, I'm, I'm not. You, but you just 
kept standing there, staring off into space. Flap thought you were one of those boogeymen the exhibition guys were babbling about. He almost shot you. I'm fine. I just had the strangest feeling of deja vu for a moment. Deja vu, eh? Isn't that what they call it when you experience a memory from a past life? Past life? <laughs> it's a misfiring of electrical discharges in your brain, causing an illusion, nothing more. <laughs> if you say so... Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back home. Oh, I'm sorry, o of course. Turn the key to start the trolley. Oh, hold it down. There we go. Be safe, sir. Oh, bye. Going toward the whatever darkness came toward me a second ago in that vision I had. Vertigo Games presents. Oh, this is nice. Hey, this is like Half Life. This is like Half Life. Well, this is some intro, y'all. I still feel lost a little bit, but maybe I'm supposed to be. I'm just going to listen to this beautiful music. Yeah, this feels just like the train ride of, of Half-Life, and this feels a little bit like the train ride um, in later episodes of, uh, of Half-Life. Awakening. Nice. I love how they did this. Beautiful, beautiful intro. That was awesome. I hope you don't mind me just being silent, but that that deserved just taking that in that was that was beautiful okay and this is where we get off you know some of this reminds me of fallout too okay automatically crouch by walking into low height areas oh, okay so i don't have to physically crouch that's cool although it'd be kind of cool to do that stand up by tapping the oh maybe that's what i should have done earlier Oh, that makes sense. And this is this is how you crouch by tapping that. Jump down from small elevations by moving into the edge. Okay. I can handle that. I love the sound design of him walking. That's that's really well done. It doesn't sound just like a repetitive sound. It's it, there's enough variation to where it it feels it feels uh pretty Say realistic. Tasha. <laughs> Treating drunken merchants for radiation sickness really goes as planned. He said to send you down to the mushroom farm as soon as you turned up. And word of warning, our station chief is not in one of his better moods. <laughs> I look forward to seeing one of those firsthand someday. Something that's a bit different that I notice is that this game, the first first person player is speaking. You know, it, and, and it's unlike Gordon, where, you know, he, he never says a word and you just kind of think your thoughts and, and whatever. Um, you actually hear your character speaking. So that's interesting. It's an interesting choice. I guess I'm going the right way because she was motioning to like some sort of mushroom farm or whatever. Man, it is super dark in here. I know I can turn the brightness up, but I don't want to I don't want to lose the vibe. It's supposed to be this dark. Oh, rats. Hello. We're here in the Academy Cheskaya. Hansa leaves us alone. 
The Reds leave us alone. The Nazis leave us alone. Even the mutants leave us alone, mostly. Life's good, yes? Are these, like, but important this, people? It's 2028. We survived a nuclear apocalypse and radiation. But you tell me, where is everybody? Even under the surface. It's not like we're hard to find. But you're telling me not one plane survived on the entire planet? No one's ever figured out how to contact a single satellite? What if the bombs didn't change the world? They moved it to an alternate dimension. Huh. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. I'm telling you, open your feeble little minds and really listen to what I'm saying. I don't know if I'm supposed to be listening to him, but... I feel like you could listen to him forever. If you go through the living quarters, you might still catch him. Okay. Catch somebody? Okay. I'll go this way. These are like all merchants and stuff. Is this where you can buy stuff? many different types of mushrooms here. Huh? I told you, you would like a Gadomi Jessica. Everything's so Hello. What do you got to, what do you got, what do you got today? Um, what you selling? Nothing today? Okay. Alright, I'm not here then. Mushrooms! Get your mushrooms! I don't need any mushrooms. I'm fine. We've got mud. Oh, look at all the little colored lights in here. Yeah, evidently it is cold in here because we've got another heated fan and everybody is in warm clothes. Makes sense though, being underground and all. Is this who I'm supposed to talk to? Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm not hungry. It's okay, sir. Thank you. I guess I'm gonna go up here. Oh, look, another guitar. We're just gonna make our way over here. And just keep on going. I can't read that. I don't have a translator, so we'll just have to... Keep on going. Oh. The baiting, baiting stripes on the barricades. Since people keep walking into them at night. Are you kidding? We just painted them. I like the vibe in here. This is really cool. This is this is a lot different than anything I've experienced outside of Alex. Already did. Hey Hazel. Have you talked to Max yet? I heard there's trouble with No, I'm on my way to see him now. Oh good. He went that way. Well, this looks like another mushroom place. Uh, let me check this out here first, though. Max, servers. One second. Yeah, yeah, send him in. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to be then, evidently. Ooh. Ooh, it got real dark. Even more so. You check them again. That girl had to go somewhere. No, we've been over this. Hello? I gotta go. Max out. Want to switch jobs? Maybe you should chase runaways and let me run around playing doctor for a while. I've got a very healthy list of people I'd like to stab with a needle, let me tell you. I think you may want to work on your bedside manner. Don't even start. You and your wife are not my favorite people right about now. Young okay, so that was my wife at the beginning in that picture. By something, do you mean did your wife destroy our mushroom farm because she heard the voice of her dead son again? Because if so, then yes, something happened. Anna, is she all right? She's a lot better than our mushroom farm. Go! Oh, grab the valve with both hands. Okay. I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, here we go. It's done. Five years to build this thing. There's a lot of dialogue, by the way. <laughs> issues to consider. You know what scenario never came up? What if you can't hear the voices of the dead inside their pipes? I don't understand. Yana was doing so well. <sighs> I'll take care of it, I promise. Go, go check on your wife. But then, you come see me. Friend or not, this station is my wife. So this I wonder if that's back where I came from. I heard this voice. That must have been where my wife is. 
I probably was supposed to do that first, it sounds like. Oh gosh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't, I can't go back. So I've got two doors where he went and where I came from that are both locked. So I, I really don't... Oh, ho, ho, whoa, ho. There's another, there's another door. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's some more light. Okay. I was going to say, there is nowhere to go. Then, is my wife over here? That doesn't open. What? What's in here? Very mysterious and ominous. Once again, I love the music. I love just listening to it. It's so moving. Oh, look, here's the ladder. I get to climb it. Start climbing. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Just like Half-Life Alex. And then I just let go, probably. Yes. Awesome. Cool. That feels just as smooth as I would hope it to be. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> that's where I'm going, though. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, that's... Oh, man, I can't walk over there. I almost just fell off. That would have been falling if I had been real off. Oh, but I see another ladder over here. Yeah, automatically descend by walking into the ladder. Ah, uh, okay. That felt weird. Uh, including that one. That looks like that's hot. I'm not going that way. Here we go. Uh, this needs to be turned off. Here we go. It's another puzzle. Turn off. There you go. Now I can make it. Okay, here's another one. Let's turn this off. Here we go. Finally some action. Awesome. What? What? Something about downstairs? Another one? Yep, there's that one, and we need to look for another valve. Yeah, that's where I'm going eventually. There we go, there's the valve. Here we go. Awesome, did I do it? You're welcome. Okay. This appears to be the only place to go, so we're going. Oh, oh, this is nice. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, now I know how to get back up again without having to hit the pause menu again. Oh, okay, crouching, crouching. And getting up, whoops, oh. So you have to jump the castle, but you can imagine who you have to thank for that one. Oh, oh gosh, there's a person right there. I need a flashlight in this place. I can't see nothing. Where am I going? Over here? Oh, oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, man, it's so dark. I didn't realize this was a pathway right here. Operate, thank you, your flashlight by moving your hand over your head and pressing the highlighted button. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. it's about time. I couldn't see a thing. Yeah, I got so dark that you have to have it now. Your flashlight requires recharging. Uh-oh. Okay, grab the backpack with your left hand from your left shoulder. Okay. Oh, whoa, okay. Let's see. Here's the backpack. Grab your charger. Whoops, I did this with the wrong hand. Here's my charger. Grab the winch. Can I put my backpack down? Oh, it, it, I guess I... Okay, let's see. Just rotate it. Charge it. Here, I'm charging it now. Am I charging it right? Is this right? How does that work? Is it is it somehow connected? I guess it is. We pretend it's connected. That's what it is. And then what? Can I put it back? I put it back. Okay. 
Okay, okay, you just released it next to your chest. Nice. Oh man, it's super dark in here now. Oh gosh. Oh. Man, it is so claustrophobic now because my field of view is super, super narrow because it is so dark. I guess I'm going this way. Hey, who are you? Huh? Peekaboo. <laughs> okay. Hey, look at that. So, I need this. I miss my calling as an interior decorator. Can I grab Max. this? Uh, Max said you brought a pet here. Would you feel up to telling me about it? Do you is the question. Stop taking my yellow teddy bear. You what? Keep in mind I was still taking them when I decided to stop. We've been through this. Said that it hurt me. Your meds didn't make me lose it. On the contrary, it kept obscuring my ability to hear what I was so desperate to hear. Anna, hallucinations are not trivial you things. You are too much hallucinations. You hear voices. No one else so can. They help you won't even consider any alternative. It's the reason I threw the Hemoperidol out in the first place. You threw them away? None of you have ever heard that just one, so how can you know what I'm hearing? Of he died, Yana. He died, Yana. Fifteen years ago. And you can't hear an eight-year-old boy for fifteen years. Oh! Where's the shut off? Back there! Through the vent! Through the vent? Okay. I was like to have been able to hear them a little bit better, but it was just so loud in there. I thought I was gonna get that valve. Well wait, hold on. Through the vent? Where are we going? Well, here's a ladder. Can I... I bet I can go there. This is probably, that's probably the maintenance shaft right up there. Okay, let's see. Let's try it. Yep, we can do this. We can, we can climb this, even though the ladder's a bit broken. It still works. Nice. Oh, look, spiderweb. Well, that's cool. Oh, gosh, lots of spiderwebs. Oh, car oh, gosh. Actually, that's not cool because that means spider's going to be nearby. Okay, this must be what I need to do right here. So, so far, we're just turning valves, and uh, it's getting me used to that. That's it! Yes! Thank you for cleaning up another one of my messes. So that's what I am. I'm the valve boy, huh? I should go work at valve. So that means that that would have never helped me. Max mentioned disappeared from the station. Could you have overheard someone discussing? No, mister. There has to be a reason for everything. I didn't hallucinate my son's voice because of a bunch of gossiping busybodies. For all things, there is an explanation. Even the ones too terrible to accept. I can't exactly tell that to Petya, can I? Sorry. It wasn't fair. Not when you're only caring for me. My love is not something you ever have to apologize for. It is free. <laughs> Oh, you're sorry. Go on. Run back to your boyfriend, Max. I heard him whining for you to go see him once you made sure I didn't burn anything else down. Give me some time, okay? Oh, well, hold on. There's a lot of pressure over here. I don't think I can go through here safely, can I? I'm probably going to need to get this valve now. Now that she has, uh... Oh, no, you can't. You can't pick this up. Oh, this is just for looks. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go forward then. Yeah, obviously I am. Okay. Is this where I came from? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was here. This is where I was before. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the, at number two, that's where I went last time. Oh, yeah, and this is new. Hello, sir. You okay? Yeah, you let me know. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep all the dialogue in this game. There is just so much. A while ago. I guess you saw what happened at the farm then. It's being taken care of. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this game is just so dialogue heavy that it's just like, dude, it's a lot to take in, and you probably don't want to see every single piece of dialogue.
Okay, so we're coming back around where we came Sarah, from, or something Marcy's close to it. Back. Yeah, this, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see where I, I see where I came from. Okay, okay, cool, nice. Hello. Oops, hope, uh oh. I believe you called for a doctor. Oh, hi. I don't hear a knock on the door. Well, you're a there, here you go. I'm the boss. The way this jungle is growing, we may never have to repopulate the surface. I doubt God invented plastic with nuclear winter in mind. But hey, a fake garden is better than no garden at all, eh? How is Yana? She was trying so hard to be reasonable. In any event, the more pressing concern is that it appears Yana has uh, run out of her hollow peridol. That's why she lost her edge. <sighs> You and bad timing, pal. The stalker who tracks down your fancy medical stuff, she was supposed to make a delivery over a week ago. I do know the route she usually takes. Could the medication still be there somewhere? Max, why don't you just tell me where the route is? Because you'll go. And from here, the first thing you'll hit is a Nosalis den. That's probably the most relaxing part of the trip. You forget, I am not, shall we say, inexperienced when it comes to Nasales. All right, you're all stationed. Sorry. Um, anyway, normally I'd uh, hire some poor suckers to go, but since we're uh, running low on poor suckers right now, my lovely voice in your ear will have to do. Okay. Stick it to your shoulder like this. Voice activated. Nice. State of the art, when there was a state of the art. It's almost like living in the future. And for times when my wisdom alone does not suffice. Oh, yeah. It's about time I get a weapon. I've oh. heard they don't do much without those bullets. <laughs> you want an empty clip just to look cool? Be my guest. Go on, smart guy. Take it. Do I get do I do I get yes, I uh, bullets though? Very pretty. Now do me a favor and holster it while you're in the station. Okay, cowboy. Whoops. Well, where did it go? Let's at least oh. pretend we are civilized down here. Lucky okay. For you, I see how it works. Supply cart that dropped Gorky Park off here is still uh, out on the station. And since nobody killed Akim on his way back here, his spare ammo should still be. And the trolley as well. Max, you there? One second. Track two. Call me when you find the ammo. Okay, so my initial impression so far, hey, this game is very uh, impressively uh, nice uh, visually. I will say, though, the dialogue is so heavy, and there's so much unnecessary dialogue, in my opinion, that it's just like it's so much for me to take in. I'm like, dude. I mean, there's a lot of filler, and I'm cutting out a lot of filler, um, you know, just side dialogue, just because it's just so much. Um, I don't know, I like to get to the action as well. So, anyway, that's my opinion so far. I went through the trouble of draining a few bottles, you know, give you something to shoot at. Show me that Tokarev Max gave you. Oh, from your right hip holster. Is that where it is? Next, okay. Next, magazine and insert it into your tocat. Okay, good. Okay, so it's gonna let me. It's gonna let me practice just like with gunman contracts. Chamber around by pulling the slide back. Nice. Okay. And fire by pressing the highlighted button. Get the of course. For the okay. Oh, good. I can. I can just put my hand here, just like with Alex. Whoops. Got to be better than that. Well, what the heck? Shoot five bottles over here. Maybe I should start a little bit closer to something. There we go. There is almost no mercy on how accurate you should be. All right, let's see. Then empty it. Just like, okay. Oh, did, what? Did I do it right? But you got to keep holding on to the handle, though. There we go. And then what? And then I just pull it. Whoops. <laughs> I just I just pulled a Half-Life Alex move. I just I just tried to pull some more. Whoa. I'm pulling all kinds of cool stuff out of here. What is this? <laughs> You got some more? Oh, he's got some more. Okay, thank you. Can you just give me more at a time? Like, okay. That's fine. He just wants to make sure that I know what I'm doing. That's all it is. It's fine. All right. Ah! Oh, gosh. 
Oh, I'm a physician? Dude, I'm closing my right eye and I'm on it. Now grab this magazine and store it. Last thing you want is to run into some lurkers with an empty gun. Oh, wait, wait what did it say? Oh, crap, I missed it. A new magazine. Store the magazine in your backpack by releasing it near your body. Okay, nice. So it's just on my... Oops. Wait, is that... Was that it? Yeah, that's empty. Oh, hold on. Did I get it? Yeah, I put it in... Okay, yeah, yeah. You just release it. I was just listening for some sound. There, there was a sound. Okay. Unlock the door by shooting the padlock. Oh, nice. Okay, man, they really got some Half-Life Alex inspiration, didn't they? Okay, I guess I'm going this way. Can I shoot some bottles on the way? If you want to be a good shot, <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't waste the ammo, though. That's precious ammo, I'm sure. So I better not. I hear a bunch of rats around me. I don't know if you handled that kind of trolley before, but yeah, I, I have. was complaining it's hard to start. Here we go. The trolley requires charging. Grab your charger from your backpack. Grab your charger. Can I switch hands? Ah! Uh, okay, you have to use your left hand to, to do that. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, I just realized, look, this... Oh, this is like your little stats, your little, uh, progression. Oh, look, and there's a compass! <gasps> I just noticed that! Oh, that's nice! I don't know when we might need that, but probably eventually, I don't know. Anyway, grab your charger. Okay, I'm gonna release this back, okay. And then grab the plugs. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. So do that, okay. But I guess you can still charge your flashlight without having to, there you are, without having to hook it up to anything. Okay, it's ready to go. I'm gonna unplug these and put this back and turn the little bit of the There you go. Yana won't like that you left without a word. I've burdened my wife enough. Well, we did have a word. We had a, a long word. I wonder if we're going to the next chapter. <gasps> we are. Let's just focus on getting your wife's meds. Right. Where do I find her? Not on her caravan avoided a lot of metros less desirable elements by taking a route that's a bit, shall we say, off the beaten path. Hope you're in the mood for a little sightseeing. The end of the line is fast approaching, my friend. Yeah, this right here was... The, I think what I just did was the beginning of the game. But just backwards. So as you can see, we are on Chapter 2, so I think this is the perfect place to stop for today. So once again, I'm going to recap uh, my initial impressions. There is a lot of language, and this is a family-friendly, for the most part, channel. So um, I'm going to be filtering out those things. I think of a lot of it is just dialogue that feels a little unnecessary. Uh, but otherwise... So far, this game is beautiful, and I wish that I could see this in a much higher fidelity, higher pixel density, but I'm having problems with performance and stuff at the moment. I'll have to do some experimentation, uh, and hopefully the Quest 3 is going to increase the experience, because I've heard the Quest 2, some people have said that the Quest 2 has issues with PC VR like this, so I'm hoping to have my Quest 3 within a couple of months, if not sooner. So I know I didn't have a lot of commentary today, but I didn't feel it was appropriate because there was just so much to take in, so much to listen to, so much of the story, so I hope you don't mind that. I don't want to be constantly talking for no apparent reason. So if you want to see me play more of Metro Awakening VR, please subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or anything that I can do to help uh, this performance issue with my Quest 2. I would love to hear from you. I have a 3080, so I should be able to be doing better than I felt like I was, but PC specs are linked in the description. The issue that I'm having is, just like with Half-Life Alex, whenever I move around an object, like it kind of stutters a little bit, um, and it really kind of takes me out of the game. I am using a really old NVIDIA driver because it was helping, but now I wonder with this brain being a brand new game if I should just go ahead and update my NVIDIA driver again. Thank you so much. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.